um, so my process with creating everything with most of my collections um, there's always a story behind it and the story is guided by a character that we create Um, but my designer alias name is Daudi. Yeah, I'm a visionary in Nairobi. I think when I got into the scene, like the first one I went to, there was like those support you'd see, um, like people like me who would come create and just look at, be inspired by what people were doing at that time. But I think consumers weren't as open. When I was starting the brand, things weren't as easy. A lot you'll see, there's so many streetwear brands in Nairobi, or like in Kenya, but it's so hard to be consistent for every brand. So you'll find it takes so long to make a small impact in the market. But like it's gotten easier, we're getting crazy support um, through our pop-ups. Our community is growing every day. People are actually buying. We're literally building something that's sustainable, you know, financially and basically financially, which wouldn't have been a possibility a couple of years ago. So we create a character, source out fabric, see what works, see what doesn't, because also the infrastructure here isn't there. You can just think of something and um, get it. So see what's there, see what's not. Draw a few sketches, sample stuff with our tailors. Yeah, then make the stuff. The main challenge, I'd say infrastructure. With my brand, I'm personally, like I'm competing with the, the globe, like everyone in the world. So us not having systems that allow um, for certain things like sourcing certain fabrics, or certain technologies that would make it like making of making certain things, certain prints on garments that makes it really hard in building your brand, you know, like your vision. So most times when I'm designing, I'm designing off of what I can, I think I can find, not like exploring my mind and just making whatever I can. So it like reduces the whole creative process. I was inspired by such, something that was so small, even in the pop ups, like because we have really young people who come. They are like, you're inspired by this. I'm like, yo, if we're doing this, like if we're doing events this big, this is our crowd now, how like how crazy will your stuff be in five years, you know? So I think everything will be really dope and in the future. And we're glad to be pioneers in that perspective.